This is going to be the other side of losers. It's going to be Mega, Mega Fox, Fox versus Turning Locator's own Denti. Who put Mega Fox here? Grim Turtle. That's right. We saw that. We saw it. And we saw that crazy hype ending. Oh my goodness, the volatility. But now we're seeing Mega Fox. This guy is the best fox in Texas right now. And he's going to go against t Lock's own Denti. I mean, you say best fox, I say best player. But after Grim Turtle's performance, we might have to reevaluate <laughs> our player rankings overall. Let's see how this plays out. Ooh. These guys, the court wet facts. Apparently, these guys have played quite a bit, um, but Mega Fox takes it more consistently. Oh, but right now, Denti's looking nice. He's, yeah. He's playing the characters, playing great choices, and using those uh, down throws really effectively. And comboing into up smash, it's, it's a pretty nice chunk of change, and that's a kill move as well. I think that it's worth noting that uh, the, la the last time I think that Denti was able to take a, uh, a solid set from Mega Fox was in the 3DS games. Yeah. So it's been a while. This is one of his demons. You know what's funny is you notice whenever uh, Fox comes in and nares on Luigi, um, he slides further and further back because of the slipperiness of the character. He uses up B now to come back oh. and gets slammed with that up smash, but it's not going to be enough. Mega Fox coming back onto the stage, getting found with another grab and a forward air. That was a from back Denti. air. Oh, yeah, that back air was so nice from Denti. Oh, my gosh. A lot of really interesting decisions. I would have expected the tornado, but I think that because of where Mega Fox was in relation to the stage, the back air made so much more sense. With the down B, the tornado, what ends up happening is since the multi hit move, there's a more chance to DI out of it. But this is one of those guaranteed options, especially at that kind of a percentage. Yeah, I mean, go for the heavy knockback, especially when you're that close to the stage. Go for the consistent stuff. Whoa. Excellent use of the fireball to change the timing on Mega Fox's recovery. Still makes it back. And now he's coming in there, goes in with that down smash, and finishes off Denti, forcing him off to the side. And we're back at neutral, and 24% is the only difference between the two of them. Now, granted, when you have a character that's high octane like Fox, you can definitely rack up percentages super quick. You notice how that Nair actually clipped the illusion. You can expect Denti to use that whenever Mega Fox is trying to sweet spot because, like we mentioned, it is a nice lingering hitbox that has a nice chance of creating a snapback whenever your opponent is trying to get back onto the ledge. Caught him with those jabs, and the, there's the one-twos that we've been talking about, man. But he doesn't have the up smash ready just yet because he has Luigi only at 50%. He needs to see if he can get him a little bit higher. That was big for Mega Fox. He's made this a near-even game, but Denti with that Nair able to follow up with that back air afterwards. Clips the ledge. No punishment this time from Denti on uh, Mega Fox. Tries to push him back himself back on. He lets him get on. They're both trading in Whoa. neutral, looking to find that next hit. And here, back to neutral. Good choice of using those fireballs to negate the illusionist. And that conversion into back air is gonna take it for T Lock zone. Densi. That was really big for Densi. Really big. Two games away from getting over someone who's really been such a challenge. I love that dash attack from Weezy so much. And it's worth noting that Mega Fox, while such an incredible player, he's just a kid. Just he's a, a boy. He's just a boy. He hasn't even graduated high school yet. A really young kid. So there's a very high possibility that the turning nerves might be getting to him, especially given how much money is on the line right now. This a lot. Can you imagine being in high school and having five grand? I bore, I, dude, I'd blow so much money on like corn dogs and junk food and <laughs> terrible things for myself. How many freezy pops is that, man? All the freezy dude, pops. Dude, you can go to the ice cream man and like just like have him on retainer. Oh, yeah. Put it on my tab. Put it on my tab. <laughs> Put it on my tab. Dude, oh my goodness. Buy all the consoles, still have money left over, buy all the games. Dude, I'd be, I'd be such a nerd. Oh my gosh. But you know, put it in your college fund, kids. No, 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 no. And by your college fund, I mean go to Costco, buy as many Reese's Peanut Butter there Cups as you is. can, That's and enjoy your short existence yeah. while you have it. Because I enjoy guarantee it. if you had that many Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, oh! Dunskies. 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 I'll be honest, though. Death by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, it's, I would be okay with going out that way. I'd I would be okay I'd with be it. Right with that I'd be all right with it. I'd be all right with it. That'd be a delicious ending. Okay, game man. number one. Ooh, going in with that up smash immediately. I, I don't know, man. And notice the way that Denti will use that up smash. We saw that uh, in the first uh, stock of game number one, where Denti turned his back before using the up smash. Keep in mind that because it comes out from the behind Luigi, it's actually best to start with your back turn to your opponent so that you can hit it immediately. Yeah, with the up tilts. Yeah. And up smashes too. Up smashes, yeah. yeah. For, okay, for Luigi. Oh, for Luigi, yeah, that makes perfect sense. 
See, there you go. That's what I'm talking about. Using that laser in neutral, right? You have a little bit of distance to the two of you. Still tack on that quick laser. Oh my goodness. He's dropped down there multiple times, and both times Ooh. he was answered with an up smash from Denti. He's going to push up here. Wait. And they're both struggling to find that next hit. That's what I'm talking about, man. When you're full screen in this box, you choose when you want to approach. And if you're staying full screen, you might as well use those lasers, rack up free percentages if you're not going to be ending up for your opponents with those back airs. Such a quick conversion from Mega Fox. 92% though. Mega Fox looking to drop in there with those nares. Ooh, slap shot from Nancy. See, he's staying at the edge and holding onto it. And he, he's been doing a lot of up smashes towards the edge because it pays off dividends just like that. And that's the next stock. The beauty of it coming out from behind, clipping Mega Fox. How is he going to react to this? Ooh, ooh. I thought he was going to cross up for a second. Great follow-ups there off of the grab into the fair. That's the crazy legs with this with Fox is so good. Builds up percentages so quickly. And after that forward smash, he's been going consistently for that illusionist and getting that extra damage. Nice up tilt from Mega Fox because he had his back to Denti. It was per a perfect choice to just pop him up and follow up with that up air. Oh, excellent. Baiting out the air dodge, coming with the nair. Waits. Spacing out really well on those nares, but we've also been seeing Denti punishing those nares that have been coming in with those up smashes. Caught him with a three piece and follows up with the grab. There's the back air, oh, and this is a shot. great job of controlling space here. Yeah, that forward air from Denti unfortunately sends him backwards to the stage. Oh, he was unable to it really answer. He's back on stage safely though. Denti holding onto the edge, just waiting. Waiting to see if Mega Fox is coming. There's oh. the down smash. Yeah, rolls right into that one. You can expect Mega Fox to use that on the ledges. He was creeping. He was creeping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He edged in there. Yeah, just pressuring Denti to push a button and get back on stage. And oh. he's done, skis. That is really unfortunate. Maybe a finger flip? I didn't see the tornado. We saw Mega Fox running away with this one. And that's the next yep. game to him. So now it's one apiece, folks. Fellow DFW brethren and Luigi Bane. Dak, though, give him a little bit of advice to Denti, showcasing some of the things that he may have picked up on that Denti could have tightened up. No, he's definitely just whispering in his ear, your hair looks really good today. <laughs> I like, I like, what, what are you using? Because I've been using a lot of Guardian Fatigue, it's really good. Um, I, I, I think that uh, he's been using that L'Oreal because he's worth it. Oh, he's worth it. L'Oreal <laughs> ally. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, that's Dude. great. Sponsored definitely because he's worth it. I mean, he has tournaments named after him. Good on Mega Fox, though. He adventure. looked a lot more clean in that game. Can you imagine being that crisp when you're that old, that age? Gosh. Being so talented. Yeah, with that hair. Yeah, I hear you. Doing. Yeah. Yo, come on, let's go. We're good. You're good. Come on. So, we're getting straight to this next one. Delfino. Easily the most beautiful stage. I'm just saying. The game was amazing. Looks immaculate. I love the Mario, Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, and I guess since denti has been going for a lot of these up smashes and has been hitting them successfully, he's probably banking on that lower ceiling. That happens from time to time. I wish Delfino existed and go on vacation here. Good back air. He's trying to box him out early. And the water, man. This is another thing that people have to have to deal with. They, have to, they feel so heavy in there, right? And you're trying to figure out how you're going to jump back onto the stage. Oh, he's stuck. No, he's oh, living, though. Okay. Exactly. But your, your recovery becomes a lot more linear, right? Uh, from that angle. Nice. And I like the up air because of the slight amount of coverage it had on the ledge. Good awareness of the stage by Denti. He knew that the transformation was coming. That's why he just went for the up air and just was comfortable falling down. Denti... There's there's some things in this stage that that's kind of gimmicky. Like during one of the transitions, the oh my gosh, he got so he caught him with that up smash. Um, what I was saying earlier is uh, one of the transitions, the the ceiling of the stage comes really really low, um, and then what you'll see is uh, someone will stay at the top and then grab an up throw, and stocks will immediately go away. I mean, both of these characters possess excellent tools for killing off the top. It's just a matter of who can really get more of those confirmations. And I think that Mega Fox in this game has demonstrated that he's trying to pick up on some of Denti's patterns, right? He's doing a better job of perfect shielding those up smash attempts so he can land an up smash of his own. Yeah, Denti's been doing a great job of seeing those nares that are dropping down and just reacting with up smashes. But let the, ooh, Slap Chop follows up. Interesting trades back and forth. We're having a little bit of off-screen play. That's one of the areas. 
Both of these guys are looking for those grab conversions. There's the down B that we're so used to seeing with Luigi, especially from Dakpo. There were two big problems with that last interaction. On Mega Fox's end, he didn't successfully cross up Denti with that Nair, and that's why he was able to get the grab afterwards. But with Denti, he wasn't able to fully execute on the Tornado. Mega Fox was able to fall out of it just before that final hit connected. And the pressure. That was really unorthodox by Denti, actually, and very smart. Uh, it's it's not common for someone in that position to roll back towards the blast zone, uh, and you just have to know where the blast zone is. Be psyched. And so Mega Fox was just like, you know what, Denti's probably gonna roll towards the center of the stage, and that's what he was trying to cover. Oh, nice down but he smash. covers it with that down smash as he latches onto the side. That's gonna be the next stock. Expect that a lot from Mega Fox. Expect that a lot. He's gonna be using that down smash anytime he has Denti on the ledge there. Yeah, and that also worked because keep in mind that you have invulnerability the first time you go out the ledge, but if you drop down before getting back onto the stage and grab it again, you're not going to get it back the second time. Correct, correct. It doesn't refresh. You got to make sure that you're standing on something before it refreshes. Very important. Very, very important. These guys taking a minute, taking a breather. It's very important to keep the composure in these situations. Please go to a Mega FD. I know you like the Mega FD because you hate those lens flares. Yeah, man. This, is, this isn't a Michael Bay film. It's actually J.J. Abrams who does the lens flares. Oh, yeah. You Get on that film level, bro. I, 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 I don't believe you very well. <laughs> I can tell. Game number four. Mega Fox on set point. That he started off really well with that first game, but... Mega Fox's adaptation of aggressive aggression might be proving a little bit too much for him. As Ooh, we... interesting clanks there. Bullet time. These guys are clanking back and forth at point blank rage. Ooh, two slap chops. Nice bear from Denti. Look at him. He's using those fireballs, trying to find an opening, cover himself whenever he's running forward. That actually reminds me a lot of Guile in Street Fighter. How he has the sonic boom, where it's an option that doesn't come out very fast, but he can kind of use it uh, to cover himself as he's walking. Nice. Grab into the bear. We've seen that so many times from that down throw, especially whenever he has Mega Fox on the ledge like that. Excellent conversions off of these down throws. And right, but right now, I mean, Denti definitely needs it at this point. He has such a deficit in terms of percentage right now. I'm looking oh, at Mega Fox. No, no, no. He's, he's still in the higher percentages. He's already managed to end Mega Fox once. Mega Fox on the ledge. So scary. So scary, and he forced the trump against the back air afterwards. Excellent play from Mega Fox, making this an even stock game. Mega Fox knows. Mega Fox knows that Denti is fiending for that grab, and that was interesting by Denti actually, because he knew that Mega Fox knew that he was looking for the grab. He ch changes things up, goes for the up smash the second that he sees Mega Fox go airborne. Interesting. He guessed that he was going to di out, and that's why the slap top missed there from Denti. Really good adaptation from both players right now. Super, super quick. All is oh. up with those fares, not connecting any of those. Yeah, that was a good air dodge from Denti to get out of it. Oh. Nair interrupting the rapid jabs, or should I say rapid kicks. 50% is the difference between the two of them. Right now, Mega Fox is doing his best to see if he can catch up here. Keep in mind, Fox is actually one of the lightest characters. Super oh smart by Denti. Oh my goodness. Really smart play by Denti. You can control the tornado height, right? Right. And instead of making it so that you get that final hit, if you just barely clip them, it sends them down, makes it so that it's really hard for them to recover immediately. Yes, you're absolutely right. Doing such a great job of catching Mega Fox there. Back bolt coming back in there, complimenting him on his air again. This is game five. Mega Fox, one of the best players, uh, not only of the game, but but considered by many to be the best player in Texas on the verge of being eliminated from this tournament. But we've seen the clutch factor that this kid has. We've seen just how explosive of a player Mega Fox is. Now bear in mind, these guys do play a lot, and YouTube Mega Fox is the one taking it. But uh, maybe today is the day that Denti rises. I mean, it, it makes sense. This is Mega Fox's first tournament in Dallas. So if Denti's going to do this, I guess it would make sense that it's the one time that he has home field advantage. Ooh. Says, you know what? Take another one for the road. He comes back onto the stage here. Good. Conversions off of those up tilts 
That's that's exactly what you need to do if you do it with Fox. Take the extra damage. Oh, another one drops down on top of him, oh. punishing that whiff. Down B, and I can even see Dakpo <laughs> from within eyesight. Uh, Denti kind of overextended using that tornado, and Mega Fox after that jump could easily get that up air to close out that stock. Very oh. unfortunate, but there's the up smash, and it trades with that nair because, like I said earlier, man, Denti is reading into those nairs. He's seeing them more and more consistently, and if he has that up smash ready to go, he he's gonna be able to punish it. There's multiple options that Luigi has to punish a lot of Fox's options. He has that nair also. He's using it as a combo break. You see, multiple times there he's using him there. The worst thing that Denti can do right now is overextend. We've seen a little bit of that from Denti, to be honest. Yeah. Back throw. But that's going to do it. He does a great job converting there off of that simple back throw. But now he has to make sure that he covers for that 59% difference between the two of them. And it's only growing with more and more from Mega Fox. His edge game is oh. immaculate. He does a good job of avoiding the down smash there. That could have been quaintance for him. Denti, so once again, finding himself stuck on this ledge, has to find a way around. But it's an up smash, and he got caught by the grab. Fox getting these grabs. Oh, rolled into the up tilt. Oh. Mega Fox is just waiting there. He's waiting and reacting. Yet again, he's trying to use the trump to go for that back. And oh. There's the down smash to take it. Mega Fox is going away with this one. And Denti is going home. Very unfortunate for Denti. The minute that he landed on stage, there wasn't really much he could do. And Mega Fox just had the perfect punish waiting for him. Those down smashes. He doesn't use them often, but when he uses them, man, Fox.